Hello guys and welcome back. VLOOKUP, one of the most powerful yet simple features of Microsoft Excel that we use almost every day. It's very important to know the basic of this concept and today I'm going to talk about very, very basic, very basic level of this VLOOKUP. But before that, I would like to go to one question that I got from one of my users and I believe this is very important to know. The question was itself that uh, when we go for this formula VLOOKUP, there is a number we put here, number two, sometimes one, sometimes three, sometimes five, sometimes six. So why do we put number here? That is very important. It's a good question. It's it's also, if you, if you go to the function features and in the index column number, you put here the same two, three, four, or five, or six. So why do we put it here? So to, to be very honest with you, to understand this concept, you'll have to go to the basics of VLOOKUP. And I'll go through the structure of the syntax that will help you to understand what VLOOKUP itself is and how it is functioning. So I will share a, a, a basic like that over here that I have invoice numbers in column A. And all these invoice numbers are also present in this table where we have some contact name, email IDs, document date, table amount and reporting value. So what, what I want to do is I want to take, for example, a number of payable amount for this invoice number or any invoice numbers that we have, for example, in the list. So I know the invoice numbers, but I don't know what is the payable amount. So I have to look up these two values. So I have to check this invoice number in this table and then at the same time, I have to check corresponding payable amount. So for this, I will use VLOOKUP. So I will do it simply with the syntax. So is equal to VLOOKUP. That is the function that is built in in Microsoft Excel. Small parentheses start. So is equal to VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is the text to invoke this particular function in Microsoft Excel. We look up. Then parentheses start. Now Excel down there is asking you look up value. So what do you want to see? What do you want to look up in the other table? I want to see this invoice number. So you give the reference A2. That is what you want to look up in this. Comma or semicolon depending on the regional settings you have. I have English um, keyboard, English settings, so it's comma and it's widely used. But if you have German or probably French keyboards, you might have different. So some people also have semicolon. So you use as you use in your functions. So generically, as it's used, I'll use comma here. Then it's asking me which table array you want to see, which table array you want to search for. So now I'll go to the other table. When I click, now I have to select all the table. But when I select the table, I have to make sure that I will show you something. That is that number two, three, four, or five that we are gonna select right after this. So now you have to be very attentive and very careful. I'm clicking on the top of the column and then dragging it. So I have clicked right click and I'm dragging it. You see when I'm dragging it, dragging it, there is a number on your screen on the top here, and this number is changing. So now we have 2C, 3C, 4C, 5C. So you see this 5C on the top. This is very important to notice. This 5 is the reference, 5 column, 5C, five 5th column. This 5th column is my column which I want to search corresponding to the invoice number. So payable amount is the amount that I want to see. So for example, if I wanted to see email ID, I could have stayed till here. So it's 3C. So I could have given three. So even though you select the whole table, if you give three, you will get email ID. If you give five, you will get payable amount. Now I will select this. I'll put a comma here. Now, if I want to see payable amount, what was the number that I wanted to see? Five, correct? So I close the parenthesis now, I'll press enter. You see, I have got value here, which means this is the amount. So there is one more thing that you want to put here is after this five comma and 
false or true false means exact match true means not really exact but it's closer to that number so then it will not match exactly so i prefer to keep it false to get accurate numbers now press enter now you got the accurate number here so with respect to this invoice number we have this value in column for the payable amount now as i said if you want to see the email id you will put three here means i want to see this value from third column press enter and you will see the email because i have selected here in this number three and this means the third column and the third column the column number starts from the selection so you selected this this is first column second third so this is the third column you can see on the top three c fourth fifth sixth so this is your reference for your lookup if you are using for example uh, the function you can still see here it's picking up the number three here so this is the number three if i select five you see here the result of the formula i can see the value of the payable amount again if i select three i will see the email id in the result or the outcome this is the place where you can see the result of your function so this was the selection and here you have the result so um, this is a simple way to use vlookup um, i hope you are able to understand the structure of this function and the use of this function basically it is used to look up the information that is corresponding to the available information so i had invoice number as an available information and corresponding values in the other table or in the other excel sheet uh, were payable amounts and I pick them up and I can see them on my screen now. I hope um, you managed to understand the concept guys. If you have any other suggestions, if you have any other query questions, please feel free to comment down there in the comments. Uh, looking forward to speak to you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.